Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at all the contents here for the Mark 44 Ammo Knights Smart Gun Equipment Type from Hasegawa. So even though it may look like a Machine and Krieger kit by all intents and purposes, it basically is a Machine and Krieger kit, but not technically. It is from the same designer, of course, Koyokuyama san and this is actually technically from Robot Battle 5. So this particular version, the smart gun equipment type, came out in 2015. I have not built any version. There's been a few different versions and there's a new version that's coming out very soon. So I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. But I've heard a lot of great things about the Ammo Knights. I've never built one of them before. So I wanted to check one out and then I'm really looking forward to building a new one when that comes out as well. But in today's video, we're just gonna be going over the box and the contents and everything in here and then I'll be working on this more in the future, probably doing at least like one or two live builds of this as well. So if you guys want to tune in to see more about this particular kit, you can uh, check out the live build later on, just to follow for updates on that. But for now, let's go ahead and stop waving the kit around and put it down and check it out. And before we get into it, I gotta give a shout out to Lincoln for turning me on to this kit with this awesome book. So I've done a video talking all about Lincoln Wright's book here from Paint on Plastic by Lincoln Wright. His Mark 44 book here of the Machine and Krieger Lincoln report is awesome highly recommended to you guys uh, but yeah this is all about different versions of the mark 44 that lincoln has done fantastic book and that was definitely what inspired me to finally get around to picking up one of these and building it just because the design never really did much for me but after seeing so much love that lincoln put into his and just like reading what he had talked about about the kit I thought I really need to try one out. So here is the box anyway. This is a 120 scale suit, which are typically made by Wave, but in this case, this is from Hasegawa. So it'll be interesting to see how it's different building a, like a suit style kit from Hasegawa when I've only ever built them from Wave. But there you have one of your markings here, that octopus shield one is really cool. On the other side, this is kind of typical how it goes. You have an alternate one, which is just a different shield type logo right there. But then back around here to the front, you have some information letting you know kind of what's included in here. One type with five decorations, that'd be five different uh, decal schemes for it. One figure and the scale and the series of the figure is going to be of this standing figure like that. But just to take a moment here to admire that beautiful artwork there from Koyokuyama san there of the machine and the pilot, really awesome. On the one side here, there's not really too much to see, but on the opposite side of the box, we have some story here. There it is in Japanese, here it is in English. So if you wanna pause the video and read that, it's always quite interesting to read some of these background information uh, text blurbs there that you get with this. This one also has some artwork on the bottom of the box, which is awesome. So this is giving you a couple different options of the color schemes. This is like what would normally be on your color card that we'll have included in here, I'm sure, but these are just some really nice big uh, versions of that. So you can use these for reference for coloring and decals if you want to, but of course you don't necessarily have to by any means, but there's a couple of options for you. Then opening up the box, we have some more stuff on the kind of inside of the lower box which is just kind of the title there, I guess. So that's about it. And in here, all of those juicy contents. Let's go ahead, take a look at this paper stuff here first before we get into the plastic crack. So here is that color card. So this is gonna have some more information about the different versions and the colors. So I mean like the story behind the different versions and the markings for each of these, which is awesome. This is all in Japanese, but it's pretty easy to just translate. Just use a translator app on your phone and it's simple enough. Here's the one that's on the box art. But yeah, there's the one that we saw on the back side of the box, that one and that one. No, sorry, the one on the bottom of the box actually is an option which is different from the ones here on the color card. So that's interesting. But yeah, this is pretty awesome for a nice reference. Then we've got the decal sheet. Always love to see that. It's really nice decals here for these. So the card Markings is a theme for the Mark 44. Again, something that Lincoln talked about uh, and it was really great to read about the kind of backstory for that in Lincoln's book. And then we have some more of the markings that'll go around there uh, in white, black, red, and yellow, and even the little adios that goes on the smart gun. It's really nice. Interesting here on the manual how it has Robot Battle 5 and Machine and Krieger on there, but here is the manual with some line art on the front. Here's a color guide down here for some recommended colors. And let's see, I think that's gonna be kind of about it. The rest of this is just going to have a parts list right here, which will give you the all the runners included. And then after that, it's just straight into the construction. And yeah, and as I've heard about this kit is that it's a really nice construction, but 
I always enjoy putting Machine and Krieger kits together. They're all so fun to put together just because it is so different. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of seam lines and everything, as typically goes with these kits, but yeah, it should be fun. And all of the runners came in two bags. So you had one bag, which is all in this kind of light olive drab color, all these parts here, which is going to be all the parts for the suit, obviously, and a lot of really great detail on those. For example, this part here for like the interior of the cockpit, that looks super nice. And yeah, I mean, honestly, just looking at some of these parts, I can just kind of see how this is gonna go together and how nice it's gonna be. I'm really looking forward to building this guy. The second bag of parts was kind of everything else. So here's your clear parts, for example. You have some poly caps included for the moving sections. You have this soft black rubber here for a couple of hose parts in a kind of light tan, not necessarily skin tone color, but like a tan color here. You have your parts for the pilot figure. And so as you can see, the main body is all gonna be one piece, which is great. So you don't have like two halves sandwiched together with a seam line all the way down the side that you have to worry about that. So that's an easy build there. And then you have some options here for this. That being basically if you want to have the face or if you wanna have this uh, kind of mask visor over the face, this one is for your pilot in the unit. So if you wanna have it opened up like the, the cockpit hatch opened up and have them in here, that's why it's only like half a body because this is what actually goes inside the Mark 44. And then last but certainly not least is our parts here for the smart gun. So this is the smart gun equipment type. Here's your parts for the smart gun. And I don't know if this is the entirety of all the parts that are different for this version or if there's some more parts here on maybe some of the other runners. But that is all a part of the joy that we'll find out when building the kit. But I gotta say, so far there's a lot of really impressive aspects here to this that make me quite excited to get this put together so I can definitely see what the hype is all about surrounding the Mark 44 and it makes me even more excited for the new upcoming version as well which looks really awesome but in the meantime let's go ahead and get this guy built up as I said before as if you do want to see some of the process of the kit actually being built up I do plan on live streaming at least some of the build and then you guys can just kind of watch and get kind of a sense of how these kits go together if you're unfamiliar but for now that's going to be it for this video guys if you want to check out Lincoln's book. I believe we do still at the moment have some in stock here at USA Gundam Store. That's if you're in the US, but if you're outside the US, I know you should be able to order it from Lincoln directly, so just make sure to check him out. But if you guys are looking for anything else, paints, tools, other mecha model kits and things like that, you can check that all out at USA Gundam Store as well. The link will be down in the video description below. Thank you guys all so much for checking out this video here today. Looking forward to this one. If you guys feel so inclined to like and or subscribe while you're here, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, hope you all have a great day. We'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.